together. Uh, so uh, we are actually waiting for the first winner to show up before the stand here. So hopefully uh, something will be driven. Not Peter, you'll have to wait because they can't speak to you. Okay. Not me either, I think. So, uh, so, 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 but it sounds promising when it's happening over there. So I suppose it is a two stroke or a two stroke. Now I need the assistance from the main judge. All of your back. So, Nick Defam, Dirux, one owner from 1964 to 2017, obviously not the previous one. 120,000 kilometers, Peter Sandstrom, unrestored original and, uh, and, and almost untouched. And the, the engine, he apologized, is, is temporarily removed and uh, to, to, to be safe for the reader in the longer term. So, so Peter Sandstrom, please enter the stage. Congratulations. I, I grabbed the microphone and we have the summary of the car. Over to you. Well, I was quite surprised that I can see now why, because it's an sort of original car with a quite good condition. It has been damped and uh, scratched, but it's, it's um, as I see it, more in that That is character in a car for me. Of course, it would be, I mean, a car can only be original voice. If you restore it, you think that it's done. I have done, done just some cosmetic products. So, so I'm quite happy with it. And, and, and for me also, if you say if you have something that's good, do not mess with it. Try to polish. I, I suppose that this paint job was a bit uh, bleached when you started with the car. Yes, it was. It was uh, I didn't do the first uh, polish job, but it was quite uh, almost pink. And, uh, the only thing I know that we think is the front end And uh, that's a part of the history. And the car was in March 1989. So it's been standing for almost 30 years. And, and I also know you do some experience that uh, you will polish the car a couple of times more because the red car has a tendency to go back to the back again. And, and, and uh, so your best friend is definitely Carlos and Porsche in the future. Fantastic car, a big applause for Peter after here. And enjoy your good <coughs> hope from the festival. But it's not over yet. Thank you. Big applause. So compared with the previous one, this is a quiet two-stroker. And that is a Saab 96 Sport, the year 1965. And uh, it's always very good on. Very well known within motoring circles. And this is, according to the jury, a very nice original car that is untouched and only 70,000 kilometers. That's remarkable. So please come up to the stage.
Ja, du kan väl berätta lite om det här. Vad är det för vakuum till den här? Det är ju lite speciellt. Den har jag ägt nu i två års tid. Och den har ägt som Mikael Hanskinsson förut. Han har skett dem, så att den ser ut så här. Och den är lite speciell i det att den har normat här med element och sådana saker. Och överhuvudtaget så är den en orolig. Och norrland Sverige, för er som inte vet det i Västergötland, det är alltså värmeelement som sitter på insidan av tröskarna som tar överskottsvärmen ifrån de här olidigheta tvåtaktarna och för in det i kupéns och rutorna i Marie. Det är perfekt, vi sparar in och på det. Så du sover i stan med andra ord i bilden där. Ja, vad säger du Adam? Du har några originaldelar, sportlevar kvar på lager i din köping. Ja, det är en fantastisk bil. Fantastic car, original condition, 70 000 km. And driven here from Skåne with its Norlands heating system from the Arctic Circle. You won't freeze when you're going home tomorrow. And the festival is not over yet. A big applause for Sverker Dahl. Song 99. 90 category. Thank you, Anna. So this is the Saab 99 Turbo model in 1978, carbon red, and the owner is Tommy Dörrmann from Norge, Norway. And the, mo the motivation for the jury was a Saab that is very sensibly restored with the rig, it says a rig parts here, it does, yes, to an original condition. So please enter the stage. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then we have 
old generation song 900. Sadly, I don't know the name of the owner, but uh, we know the, the names of the judges, Nicholas and Jonas. You've forgotten the name of Brian. So please come up on stage and present yourself here so we know who you are. You are the winner in the Old Generation 900 category, and that is definitely a tough one. And this Monte Carlo yellow car is remarkable. This is, I would say, the classic convertible that everybody wants. Oh, also. I hear that. Or the song Cabernet and Company the Bolt Italian so. Kan man säga att det var, var lite udda i tiden för att alla andra biltillverkare har ner sin kapptillverkning men Sami gjorde precis tvärtom. Och därför jag vet att du kommer att använda den här bilen är att därför är det faktiskt året om. Det här är en bil du kan åka med pikirerna i minus 40 grader och fortfarande väldigt varmt och gott i kuben. Under förutsättningar att taket är öppet naturligtvis, det är ett underrättare. Men du får inte köra en natt på vintern mer. Det är bara på sommaren för, för saltet på vägen och det är det som dödar våra bilar. Och den här ser ju fantastisk ut så det är ju bara att putsa av lite olja och hälla i lite så att det är en originaldel i dag. Vad har du på lager? Det är helt fantastiskt. Det är... Ja, och det här är en bil som har förflyttat på vår på Sats, eh, vad heter det, marknadsavdelning som står som fotobil. Du kanske kan utveckla lite grann. Jag har den här bilen som på några anledningar så har den uttagit i mars 51. Det är en tvåa som har gått ut förr i ett av bilarna, de bästa. Och används i marknadsföringen och riktigt skyldigt med hela Svenskanske. Det är mycket historik. Intressant att den här kulören är att det här är en av Björn Edvards baby och han gillar inte att höra vad vi kallar den krockgul. För vi målade nämligen bilarna innan de skulle krockas för att höghastighetsskaverna skulle se det bättre. Men då var det betydligt plattare. Men på den här är det helt rätt i alla lägen. Välpolerat som idag. Tack en gång och tack för att du tog in bilen och behåll den. Det är mitt absoluta råd. So looking for the old brooches to check this car and the brooches. Oh, absolutely. Then I, I think they can check him out if you have anything they want to carry. No doubt. But I know it's true. And the exhaust note from the 60 volt turbo engine, that is so classic.
so it's, good to make, it's, it's nice to make a good impression of Debbie, no doubt about that. Yes, very rare. Well, we have a theme on the, on the exhibition with the Saab Paladier exhibition in the museum on the second shelf from 1986. And this is a car version that was specified after that event in 1986. So, so this is definitely collector's item, no doubt about that. And we more or less everything that was possible to cross on the specifications from the factory. So my only advice to you is the same as for the other ones, keep it. Thank you so much and the pros again for staying on. Thank <laughs> you. 
the brioche. Yeah. 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 So, Pietro, so please uh, accept our prize on stage. Det är mycket kört. Är det bara hemma och fussar? 
Poppar upp på Sofestivalen och plockar in priser för varje gång nästa år. Ja, har ju varit med någon några gånger så det är en originaldiv så det är... Original gör alltid bäst. Fantastic car, ring and shape and all. It's a, it's a car that some used as a press car in the, in the beginning of the 70s. So it's, it's quite well known in the motor magazines in Scandinavia from that time. And ring and is always best, no doubt. Thank you so much and uh, applause for the winner, Stefan Ivarsson in the Solid Catwalk. And now we go over to Saab, new generation 93, model 2003 to 2014. And uh, this is Richard Carlson with his new 93 Sport Combi. And uh, the motivation is <coughs> new generation 95 door handles and, and uh, the shark fin on the roof and the uh, painted instrument panel uh, and special exhaust system the, the rear wing is, is uh, made by Saab original parts plus Volvo V50 how the hell is this car wheel? this is horrifying and nice, uh, nice interior and everything very very tasteful you can really talk about not customizing, but improving a car in detail, and it's in one shape, so, and the beautiful colors can it do. So again, please enter the stage the winner, Richard Carlson. It's fantastic and, 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 and it's really a big old piece of say, proportions. Yeah, it's the, the whole uh, idea is to not see what's the big one from the original. Uh, congratulations. And thank you so much for bringing it here for the festival. And to uh, hope that we see you tomorrow with the car game here. Thank you so much. And now we have a few categories left. Competition custom category. 
2019. And uh, no, 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 don't try to think about it. It's not the same. So, so, um, how many races have you done with the car so far? Now? Fantastic. And, and this, uh, to see this car in the forest again and allowing your spectators to, to just listen to it, it is absolutely remarkable. And, and uh, this is really what it's all about. Uh, but it, it looks very straight. Uh, do, do you uh, go for it really? Or Said the speed was all right, but the quarter was coming down. Exactly. So, again, congratulations. Fantastic that you bring the car here. And uh, I, I think people are really interested in listening to the car and, and so on. So, to make some, uh, I would say, speeding here, no problem. So, I'm transport today. Fantastic again. And we need to find the regular parts in this shipping for this second. And if you are interested in this special type of car and its engines, the latest Sound Cars magazine has an article about the development of the cinema head that in the end was the classic 64 turbo engine. So this is the father to that. Uh, production lists. 
And I want to hand over a production list from each panel to the museum. So I hope you will be excited for me. And I'm already downloaded. I know. But uh, now you have to go to the new person also. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Very nice car. So here we have an extra prize coming in. Either the judges had difficulties to agree in the competition custom category that is combined. So a special honor prize to Caroline Semik. Please enter the stage. Very tasty modified salt, according to the jury, and they really love this way you have exercise styling of the car. Congratulations! Uh, I bought the car last January and it was just going to be a daily car but then yeah, you see the result everything fucked up. Uh, the rims uh, I actually custom made myself so it's the only pair in the world. Uh, I wanted to go for a style that I haven't seen before, so I made my own VIP table um, and uh, I have Cadillac VLS interior in the car. So, so that means that uh, you have the, the ignition key on the steering wheel? No. <laughs> about that. Good mix, fantastic uh, job and congratulations. You deserve this special recognition, no doubt about that. Enjoy the festival and thank you for bringing the car here. With this, my ladies and gentlemen, I think that we don't have any more statements to give out for this time. But the SAP Festival continues. Vi kommer ju att varva ner här på området nu, men imorgon så är det ju full fart med ett marknad och sådant igen. Och då se vad folk har med sig i bakluckan. And uh, this will include the end of the price giving ceremony of uh, the nice subs in different categories. And uh, also the end of the day here at the museum, but we continue tomorrow with uh, the big market, the flea market with sub parts. Do you have anything you can bring to the market? Well, I had a little look in my garage. I have a few old cars and I have a few things to bring tomorrow. Yeah. My wife says uh, she will uh, empty my...